I am so ready for this. Lakers at Nuggets, game one, Saturday, 8.30 Eastern. <laughs> and it ultimately will come down to, can the Lakers defend Nikola Jokic a little better than they did last year when he averaged 28 points, 15 rebounds, and 12 assists. That's what he averaged? 12 assists in the four-game sweep That's in the conference he... finals. <laughs> And obviously, Joker almost certainly will win his third MVP off this season. So, Paul, exactly why is Joker so great? And exactly how would you try to guard it? First of all, I wouldn't even... He's so... He's First of all, he's the best player in the league. He's in his prime. You got to try to take something away from him. I think the main thing you do is say, hey, what can we do to limit his assists? First Absolutely. of all, because when he's picking you apart, he's like when he's sitting at the free throw line elbow or in a post and he's just sitting there, he's like a quarterback. And Keith, think about a quarterback, a great quarterback who got all the time in the world yeah. to, to just pick you apart. It's the same thing with Nikola Jokic. When he just sits there and you don't put pressure on him or, or have a hand in his face. Now, I will say this. The Lakers have one of the two guys I believe is the best matchup for him. You know, the two best matchups I believe that can guard him is probably... Anthony Davis and Giannis Antetokounmpo because they bring size, athleticism, they can move their feet well, you know, they can battle them in the post. But that being said, stay up on the other guys. Let's limit the backdoor cuts. Stay home on the shooters. If he goes for 50 points, 55 points, you take your hat off. Where you get in trouble is when you see him with the 35 and 12 and 12 which he averaged versus the Lakers. So if you, I think you can limit his assists where he's making other players better, where you can stop Michael Porter Jr. from having 20, where you can stop KCP from giving you a solid 16 every night or Aaron Gordon put a backdoor lob dunks. If you can control those things and make him a score, I think it gives you the best chance. But as okay, history so has shown... Why is a guy who can't really jump a, an inch... <laughs> Well, uh, why, why is he so unstoppable? What, what he's just makes smarter him... than everybody on the court. Okay. He probably has the highest IQ in all of basketball. Him, you okay. got to say Steph Curry, LeBron. And LeBron, for sure. Yeah, them two, all them three guys, and that's why they're the great players of our league, because his IQ is so smart. You know, he uses his weight to his advantage, gets you leaning one way and spins off you. Uh, he has great hands. If you I see mean, him, he, he must have the best pair of hands I've ever I mean, seen. If he gets a fingertip on the ball, it's in his hands. And it's right back with, with a great touch. And, and he just looks like, he just really looks at the Lakers like... <laughs> I knew he was trying to do something oh, stupid. Oh, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> and he says this. Yeah. Hey, and he says this to the Lakers. Like, he couldn't be more thrilled than to play the Lakers in the first round. He's saying, I am. <laughs> he couldn't I be more thrilled right. than to play the Lakers yep. in the first round. Because yep. when I see averages of 28, 13, and 12, I see nothing but a cakewalk. I, I, I guess you, you have to pick your poison. What, what are you going to allow him to do? He's going to score. He, you're going to give him that. You're giving him that. You're going to give him his 28. You got the 28. Here you go. Take that. Now what else? Can we stop? Because first of all, Skip, your point is, dude can't jump on this table if you told him to. He could not. He couldn't. He I don't couldn't. get how he always in a top, or ha a top five or even the best rebounder in the league. Because they're not moving him off his spot. They just don't touch him. He's just always he's dominating there. the rebounds. They don't move him off his spot. They just they don't get under there and bang with him. So he's already tall. He's long. Okay. His arms I, I, are at the floor. How did Dennis Rodman lead the league year after year in rebounding? Because he pushed people around. And because he had the greatest anticipation, anticipation. of the carom that I ever yes. saw. Because he could see he the ball the in flight. And he's, yeah. This guy's got that. He got that. Where he sees it in flight, and it's and like, it's going to come here, and I'm going to go here, and I'm going to screen you off with my 300 but, but pounds. Guess, but yeah. guess gonna... what? AD has that same thing. He can. But you got to yeah. utilize it. You got to utilize it and not think that I'm getting ready to force, I'm getting ready to play against this dude and I'm a guard now, so he's much bigger than me. No, you're the same size as him. He may be a little wider than you, but if he could neutralize him to just scoring points and somehow, like Paul is saying, limit the assist. Don't yeah. allow the other people to knock down shots. So if you stay home and just give him his, give him his, let him have his. I agree. I agree. And that's that's because yeah. defensively, 
He not. I mean, you go get choice on the other end defense offensively because he's not gonna stop you. Mm -hmm. We all know that. It's just demoralizing when he starts getting the 12, 13, 14 assists. That's it just is. demoralizing. And it's boring to watch. And <laughs> you know what? His attitude toward the Lakers is, I'm toying with you. He has an arrogance about him, a nonchalant arrogance about him, <laughs> where he's just looking down his nose at you like, no, I got you. I'll get you. You, you want to do that? I, I'll, I'll do that. And he stands out there at the elbow, extending the ball out over here, and... KCP cuts, and then Michael Porter Jr. cuts, and then Aaron Gordon cuts, and then Christian Brown cuts to the rim, and he bounce passes, and it's a dunk. And, yeah. and you're like, oh, wait a second. So they tried last year. They put Rui on him. Rui's got an NBA body, and, and he is a hard player, man. He goes hard every possession, but he's about 6'8", and yeah. I don't know what he weighs, 235, 240 yeah. maybe, and it's just not enough. So they said, let's put Rui on him, yeah. but we will have AD lurk. You know, we'll, we'll keep him under the basket, lurking as a shadow. We'll see if just that was, in case. if that instead of AD, if that was Dwight Howard, that might be something yeah, it different. Maybe could be different. If All if right. if it was Dwight Howard All based right. on the bubble. Okay, here's the scary thing. If you just say AD, you got him solo from from jump, then you worry that he'll foul AD out of the game because he'll get him in trouble in the first half. He'll get four fouls on him before halftime, and then you're in big trouble. You got Jackson Hayes, who has come on, but but he's a little light in the back pocket to me. He's a leaper but do you extraordinaire. Think, you really think he'll get him in foul trouble? You that, really that, think so? That he can get AD in foul yeah. trouble? I do. But AD can't no. turn around and get no, him in foul trouble? No, that's the best defense against Nikola Jokic. You got to go at him. Yeah. You got to make him yeah, play absolutely. defense. And, I'm going to get you in foul like trouble. I'm the Lakers. My first five possessions was, we're going to isolate him on the post versus Nikola Jokic and see if he can slide with him. Get, stop him from getting to the rim, but the problem is AD settles for too many jump shots. You got to attack him, get him no, that's in foul a good trouble. Point. I settle agree. for too yeah. many jump shots. He settle for too many jump for shots. The refs to call for you got to put in his mind, hey, we need you to attack. We're going to give you the ball the first three times down. Attack him. Let's make him guard from the jump. That's the best defense on Jokic, is attack Let's him. go, Paul. Coach him up. Let's go. That's the best defense. If you do that, they're going to have a problem. Think about that. If you say AD. You think Nikola Jokic can stay in front of him and he no. just puts the ball down and just dribbles no. and just forces the ref to try to make it, put the pressure on the refs to try to make a call of him at the rim? No. Say, we're going to do this five times in a row. But AD got to like go it. all the way to the it's cup. A, he can't I be like pulling it. up at the elbow. No, he can't. Yeah, he but he got to just attack. He got to attack. He got to attack. Right. So Joker's career high is 53 points. If he's going to get 53, just let him eat. Just let him have the 53, right? You can't win if he gets 12 assists a game. And that, that's not just one game. That's four games. Average. That's 48 Average. assists for four games. <laughs> it, it shreds you. It, it, yeah. it slices and dices your psyche because you're like, he is cutting us to pieces, right? He's going surgical on us. Okay, because 12 assists, that's like a great point guard game, yeah. and he is a great point center. Mm -hmm. and, but if he wants to Ooh. sit out there and drift out there and kind of eye you and you know, size you up and shoot threes, <laughs> let him shoot threes. Is he right. going to make three or four games? He probably will. Mm. But I, to me, I got to go solo on him because yeah. I cannot let the other ones also just destroy me with dunks because right. that's what he's going to get. He's going to get dunks on you. But but this guy... Maybe they will go solo based on the game plan last year that didn't work or the game plan that yeah. they had earlier the in the season that attacking. didn't work. If you have a player, which many players don't have a center that can score... Like AD, the best point of attack is to attack him. I'm telling you, because it not only forces him to play defense, not that he's not a good defender, he's solid, he bodies, he's not going to just, you're not going to get layups. But you I'm going to face him up. You face him up face and him you up. rip through and you drive him the first few possessions and you force the ref's hand. That's the best. I've always, that's the best. That's like with LeBron on, I played against LeBron. Uh -huh. I wasn't going to stop LeBron completely. Yeah. But I know what? He's going to have to work on this end of the court. And that's the thing that the Lakers got to do. They got to make him work on this end of you the mean court. You to defend to you. To defend me. Yes. Yeah, so, so what, if, what if he says, go ahead, go by, get your two. I'm not going to get into foul trouble. Now what do you do? You keep attacking him. You're going to force a hand. I did, okay, then AD got to have one of those big games to where now he canceled out Joker. Now it's up to the rest of us to step up. If AD has 33 and Joker has 33 and 11, that cancels him out. Now it's up to you guys to outplay the rest of the role players. I'm going to remind you, 
of the eight straight losses to these guys, seven times you were there in the fourth quarter. So they weren't wipeouts except for the opening game this year. The ring I, ceremony. You know, I, I thought you'd go in there mad about them, you know, Michael Malone saying we're the Lakers' daddy at the victory.